The following opinions are solely those of Botest.com and its test captain. Hi, Captain C for Botest.com, and today I'm going to be doing a full performance evaluation and features inspection on the Beneteau Barracuda 27. The Barracuda 27 is a twin outboard pocket cruiser that packs a lot of functionality into a 27-foot package. She has available seating in the cockpit and bow, plus an enclosed cabin with a small galley and helm. Below decks, there's sleeping space for four and a private head. Twin swim steps flank the 200 horsepower Mercury outboards on our test boat. The steps measure 2 feet 4 and aft and 2 feet 2 inches at their widest. To port, there's a four-step reboarding ladder and a stainless steel grab rail. The ladder tucks into a dedicated slot. The passageway to the cockpit closes with a stainless steel gate 17 inches wide. While the port side passageway into the cockpit is on the same level, the starboard side is a 16 inch step up and it closes off with a cable. It too is 17 inches wide. Beneath the hatch in the deck there's a storage compartment that can be ordered as a live well with a fishing package. The Barracuda 27 comes standard with a bench seat that folds into the transom. Two more seats that fold into the gunnels are available as options and so is a sliding seat on its own base. Our test boat had all the seat options, plus the optional cockpit table, creating seating for up to eight people. Heading forward, there's a convenient grab handle on the aft end of the house. The side passageway is 14 inches and the bulwarks come up 34 inches. As we head forward, there's another grab handle and it's a 10 inch step up to the bow where the rail is a comfortable height. A compartment in the port passageway is equipped with a connection for the propane stove in the galley. Fully forward, we saw that our test boat was equipped with the optional seating in the bow. The anchor locker has the Lumar windlass, a chain leading out to the galvanized anchor and a roller, a safety lead with cam locks, and the remote control. There's access to the road on both sides of the windlass, and when the anchor is deployed, the rope can be tied off to the capstan. Now let's head aft into the salon, which is accessible via full-height sliding glass doors. With the doors fully open, the entry is 31 inches wide, but it drops down to 16 inches wide because of the salon seat to port. Once inside, there are seats in the salon and in the base of the starboard lounge is a locker housing the battery switches. There's storage under the removable seat cushions and this hatch in the deck accesses more space below via the ladder. Beneteau manages to pack quite a lot into the Barracuda 27, including this clever salon table. With the removal of a holding pin and loosening of a plastic knob, it easily lowers. Voila, the salon now has a dinette. Beneath this hatch located forward into port are the galley sink and propane stove, which has a retainer. A refrigerator is at the base of the helm seat. To starboard, the helm seat is 31 inches wide and has a fold-up bolster for standing or seated travel. The manual sunroof opens and closes easily and just below is the optional VHF radio. The Ritchie compass sits atop the dash panel. From the left, our test model had the electronic upgrade pack with the 12-inch Lowrance HDS-12 chart plotter and the controls for the bow thruster alongside. To starboard, the Mercury SmartCraft multifunction screen is above the fuel gauges and ignition switches. Mercury's digital throttle and shift controls are in a dedicated flat to the starboard side and have all the functions clearly labeled. The accessory switches are to the left of the steering wheel, which is a non-tilting helm, and the switches are labeled with icons. Because a boat of this size range is a candidate for single handling, we like the doors to exit the pilot house on each side amidships. One of the boat's six 10-inch cleats is alongside the boarding door for quick tie-ups. The boarding door also makes it easy to pull up to a dock to pick up passengers. It swings inward, so be careful of fingers. The bumper that was supposed to keep the door from banging into the gunnel on our test boat was ineffective. Centered between the helm and the galley, the two-part cabin entry has a top hatch that opens on twin gas struts and a bifold lower door that opens into a recess and secures in place with a magnet. An opening port light and large hull side windows let natural light into the V-berth that's filled in for sleeping. And here we see the berth with filler cushions removed. Behind the cabin entry stairs, the mid-cabin has a mattress measuring 55 inches wide by 74 inches across. Immediately to starboard of the cabin entry, the private head has a full height door. Inside is an opening port light, a manual flush toilet with a flip down seat, and a sink with a pull out faucet for use as a shower. Now let's get out on the water. The Barracuda 27 measures 29 feet 2 inches overall with a 9 foot 7 inch beam. She draws a maximum of 2 feet 11 inches. Beneteau lists dry weight at 8,254 pounds, and with 79 and a half gallons of fuel, two people in test gear aboard, our test boat had an estimated test weight of 10,121 pounds. Our test boat was powered by twin 200 horsepower Mercury four-stroke outboards, turning 17-inch pitch Rev4 counter-rotating stainless steel four-blade propellers. Running the twin outboards up to a maximum RPM of 5,300, 
we hit a top speed of 40.5 miles per hour. Best cruise came in at 4,000 RPM, where we hit 28.5 miles per hour and burned 19.1 gallons per hour, which translated into 1.5 miles per gallon and a range of 142 statute miles, all while still holding back a 10% reserve of the boat's 106-gallon fuel capacity. At 600 RPM, the Barracuda 27 ran 3.3 miles per hour, and at 1,000 RPM, we saw 5.6 miles per hour on GPS. In acceleration test, the boat planed in 3.7 seconds and ran to 20 miles per hour in 7.1. After our tests, Mercury engineers were able to fine-tune the boat's performance with a different set of props and adjusting the engine placement location on the transom. Doing this, they were able to improve the overall cruising and top-end speeds with this fine-tuning. Best speed came out to be 46 miles per hour, and best cruise is now 26.6 miles per hour at 3,500 RPM. At that speed, the 13 gallon per hour fuel burn translates to 2 miles per gallon and a range of 193 statute miles. Barracuda 27's bottom features Beneteau's Air Step 2 hull that has three strakes per side and a reverse chine that end at a step and runs forward from the chines to the keel. Additionally, the transom is notched to accommodate a higher motor installation. With the twin outboards and a bow thruster, the Barracuda 27 maneuvers well at slow speeds and will pretty much go anywhere a captain wants her to. From her indoor and outdoor seating options to her clever salon layout and sleeping space for four below decks, the Beneteau Barracuda 27 has what a cruising couple or even a young family might be looking for in an affordable outward-powered boat. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.